welcome to my channel and to another vlog. We're still in April. We're still busy with Camp NaNoWriMo. We're also still reading the Mistborn trilogy. I had hoped to have finished sooner. Yeah, that's why you're here. That's what we're gonna do in this vlog. Wait, maybe I should show you. There you are. Um, I'm reading The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson, which is the third and final book in the trilogy. I am currently... I currently have this much left to read. I'm on page 566 and the total page count is, oh, that's not a lot actually, 724. So I don't have a lot left and I'm super excited to be finished with this series because I just want to know how it ends. I want to know, I want answers to my questions. So I'm really looking forward to finishing this this weekend. I also really need to get back into my writing routine because I've noticed that the last couple of days work was kind of stressful. So writing took a backseat and not that I didn't write. Um, well, I had one day where I didn't write. I've noticed that writing goes to the back of my mind and I'm not constantly thinking about the story. And I know it's not possible to always think about the story, but I usually think about it once or twice a day. And the last couple of days I didn't even do that. So. It's a lot harder to get into the story when your mind isn't constantly working on it in a way. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog my writing process, but I am definitely gonna vlog my reading process. Yeah, I hope you're hope you're in for the ride with me. In case you're interested in my progress, I wrote to 24,000 words. So. I'm super close to finishing and hitting the goal. I think, what, what does it say? Oh yeah, it says I'll be done on April 28th, so that's nice because it's now April, April, <laughs> April 23rd. So look at this graph though. Like this is my writing progress, pretty steady. And then you know, I had a bit of a dip here because it was getting kind of tough to write so much every day. Um, then I almost didn't write for an entire day. And then the next day I wrote a short story because I was getting in a rut, as you can see. And I thought maybe I could force myself out of it by writing something completely different. So I wrote a short story in a day, which is why this is such an absurd high amount. Um, and then the next day I was so tired. I kid you not, I could not write a single thing. And now it's been a bit on and off, um, as you can see. Yesterday was a bad writing day, so... I'm hoping I'll fix it and end the month with a better, yeah, with a better graph, a more stable graph, I should say. But I'm pretty proud of like staying ahead, basically. And also bringing down my total work down so much, so. I was thinking maybe I should do like a writing wrap up at the end of the month just to talk about how it went. And uh, I'll basically show you the graph, but maybe show the finished result or something. I don't know, I don't think I've seen a lot of writing wrap ups. The concept sounds really fun to me, just to look back at what you wrote and just kind of celebrate what you did. I mean, that's how it usually goes for writers. I feel like just being focused on continuing on progress, but not really celebrating each win every thousand words, because that's a thousand words that you just wrote. That's like, two or three pages that's like an entire chapter and it should be celebrated so maybe i'll do that so keep an eye out for that but i'll stop rambling now and actually do something with my day okay so change in plans well it wasn't really a change in plans it was actually sort of already in the plans i'm gonna go to the city to the how do you call that or organic market a supermarket that mostly has vegan vegetarian locally sourced stuff and also buy some hay for the guinea pigs because they don't have any hay anymore they eat a lot of hay case in point they are again eating hay i kid you not we have to fill this up twice a day maybe even more
So I've been reading for a while now uh, and I just quickly wanted to share my thoughts about the book so far because I have read most of it. So far book two in this trilogy is definitely my favorite. Um, reading this was actually a bit disappointing. Going in I was super excited because book two ended on such a cliffhanger and so many questions were left unanswered and I just wanted to know what would happen. And then in this book nothing happened. I think it was around page 400 and this is a 724 page book so that's quite um, far into the book. Around page 400 I felt, get, I felt myself getting excited again about what was going to happen and I have to say I was a little disappointed that it took so long for things to pick up. I do love that we're getting answers. I'm also kind of sad that the answers are in the form of the... Um, in the form of the little excerpts at the start of every chapter. I would have liked to see the characters learn about these things in text. Now that I'm getting to the final part of the book, I do see that it's getting super exciting because, I mean, everything's going to happen now. Everything that we've been building up to for 600 pages. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did not see this plot twist coming. That is so cool. Okay, okay. I know I just said that I struggled for like a lot of pages, but I did not see that coming and that plot twist is so cool. I'm gonna keep reading. I read until page 620, so I'm now only 100 pages from the end of it all. I'm super excited. I can't wait to see how it ends. I am gonna take a break now from reading because, yeah, in about 20 minutes I'm going to body read The Secret History. Um, because my friend and I picked Mondays and Fridays to read and so it's Friday, but I don't want to like close this book and immediately pick up another book so I'm just gonna chill for 20 minutes and then then you'll see me reading again <laughs> So I just read The Secret History for an hour and I read about 50 pages, I'd say. And so far it's the same as it's been. I mean, I knew this book was going to be about pretentious young men, but I hadn't realized how pretentious they were. I think what's super interesting about this novel is that at times I feel like I'm connecting to the characters like I'm getting to know them better and I feel super invested in the story and then there are these passages that's just someone telling me a story and so I don't I don't feel like I'm in it so I don't have any real connection to it whatsoever what I'm left with is a novel that feels sort of very far away and at the same time very personal and it's it's a weird it's a weird mixture and I feel I don't know I'm not sure if I like it there are too many details and I get a bit bored with it and then at other times I love the details. They tell me so much more about the characters and the setting, the mood, I guess. I don't know what it is. It's just a weird mixture. I think it was a good choice to read it on Mondays and Fridays and not continuously because now I get to take my time with it. Because I think if I was reading this like non-stop I would get more annoyed. Siri, will you finally show yourself? With the camera. It's so hard to film her. She's... And there she... She went. 
Oh, Eggy. It's time to watch Shadow and Bone. <laughs> we do bone, motherfucker. In all honesty, though, where's Kaz? Oh my god. So we just watched the first two episodes of Shadow and Bone. Beautiful. I can't. Like, I was ex especially excited for the crows, obviously, for like Kaz and Inej and Jasper. Oh my god, Jasper is so... Great, amazing, wonderful. I love I love the actor who plays him. Anyway, but I am pleasantly surprised at how well they're like portraying, showing the story of Alina. I don't know, it's really exciting. I'm super excited. It's really hard not to binge it all in one sitting, but I haven't written a thing yet today. I've only been reading and now being way too excited about this series. So yeah, I should probably get some writing done now. <laughs> Good morning, it's now the next day, it's Saturday. As you might have seen, I did not finish Mistborn yesterday, but I'm super determined to finish it today. I don't think I have any other plans actually watching more Shadow and Bone because like I said yesterday, it was so hard not to binge it, but I kind of want to savor it and not just have it be this giant blur because that's what happens, at least that's what happens for me when I watch a series from start to finish. So yeah, that's exciting. Hi, hello, I'm so close to the end, but the weather is pretty good, so I was like, why not read outside for a bit? You know, so you also have another view instead of me on the couch for eternity. So I've come back to the couch again um, to read the last 10 pages. Is this really? Is this really what it comes down to? It's done. Finished. And I'm just processing it all, honestly. I'm... I just... Sorry, I just need a minute. I don't... I have so many thoughts in my head, I don't know which ones to talk to you about first. So, give me a second. I'll just... 
I'll come back to you later. Okay. So I just wrote 452 words, which is pretty good, which means I don't have to write as much tonight, so that's always nice. Haha! Caught you on camera, Siri. There you are. You sneaky little guinea pig. Can't run from me. Can't run from me. No, you're actually not running from me. So, hello, there we are. Is this tilted? I really need to get a camera that like shows you <laughs> if it's water. What's that called? When it's like, you know, level, I guess. Yeah, so I finished the Hero of Ages. I <laughs> needed that bit of writing time to just think about something else. I wrote my Goodreads review of the book. That also helped a lot to just get everything on page before I start rambling to you. And I'm not gonna make it a super long review. In the end, I gave this three stars, which is the lowest rating out of all the books. Um, because I did like this the least of all. I think book one had great potential because the heist kept me interested. I wanted to know more. Vin had character growth. Then book two was, in my opinion, amazing from start to finish. I was so invested and so hooked and I wanted to know more and more and more. I had so many questions. And then this book was so slow. Like I said before, it took me way too long to get into it. I con seriously considered dropping it for a good chunk. Um, but I was like, no, I can't do that. I need these answers. And I did get them. I, I got them all, which is the main positive about this entire series. And something which I was very impressed by is Brandon's skill and ability to create and craft an airtight plot. Like there's no room for error in this. There are no mistakes in this. This plot has been crafted from start to finish from book one and in book three it just all comes together beautifully and that was really impressive to see i was like mind blown that some of the details in book one do come back in book three kudos to brandon for creating such an awesome plot and also the world i really i still really like the magic system i think it's really cool and original i am super sad though that like you see this? This is a woman on the cover. There is a woman on every cover of these books. But where are the women? Where are they? I just wish we've got we got more women because I've read over 2000 pages in this series and there are no women. It's sad. It's really sad. It's just I said his world building was pretty cool except for that, you know, because also I hadn't expected Faith to be such a focus point in this series, but it turned out it really was. There were lots of cool elements, lots of meh elements, also the ending. I'm not a super fan of the ending, but that's just me. I never really like it when the endings get too epic. I know that sounds super weird. I don't know, you've set this world for me with these rules and the the, the realm of possibility, I guess, of what, what is possible. And then sometimes an ending gets so epic that we just break free from this realm. I don't know, it's a weird explanation. I can't really explain it. Do, do you know what I mean? When it's just, when it feels a little too epic? I don't know. I'm super curious though. What, have you read the Mistborn trilogy? What did you think? What did you think of the third book? And should I continue with Brandon's books? Because I am kind of intrigued, especially with the, I think it's, it's a, is it the Way of Kings that is like a sequel series to this one? I am curious about it. But yeah, for now, I am just so happy that I finally finished it. It took me like the entirety of April to finish reading this. Dinner should be this. 
reading enchiladas. They look great though. They smell amazing. Thank you for cooking. <laughs> you know what time it is. Shadow went bone time. It's not the next day, or actually, it's two days later. It's now Monday. And I would just like to say thank you so much for watching another vlog. Uh, thank you for watching me read, like, almost non-stop. I hope you liked the vlog. I hope you liked hearing my thoughts about the Mistborn trilogy. I would really like to hear your thoughts about the Mistborn trilogy. And I'm curious, by the way, what do you think about combining a reading and writing vlog? Where you see me reading and where you see me writing, and I talk a little bit about both. Do you prefer it when it's exclusively the one or the other? Let me know. I think my next video is going to be the writing wrap-up because I'm super excited to see how that goes. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye!